Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Commander Hall. Hopefully you guys is having a great night. Uh, right now I am doing a, well I'm finishing up a vehicle patrol and I'm about to park the car and sit and observe things. Um, but guys, I wanted to make this video guys. Uh, this video is going to be titled Teamwork guys. So, the reason why I wanted to discuss uh, this, this specific topic is because um, being a small business owner like myself, um, we do what we can to, uh, satisfy our clients. You know, we go out there, we hire people. Um, and a lot of times it's hit or miss with the officers. You know, sometimes we get good ones. Sometimes we get bad ones, you know, um, and everything mixed in between. Um, uh, but you never know when the company is going to end up in a situation that's out of anyone control. Um, I have a uh, contract at a warehouse and the warehouse has been having issues with um, employees stealing. So with that being said, um, now the whole facility is on lockdown. Um, I was able to bless a officer um, with a job um, despite the officer not having a vehicle because um, on this particular job site, they was allowing the officer to sit inside of the warehouse. And whenever trucks pull up, the officer simply just step out, sign the trucks in, go back inside, you know, wait for the next truck. But with all the stealing going on, and now that the facility is going to be 100%, you know, completely on lockdown, now that won't be an option anymore. And with the officer not having a car, um, obviously the officer won't be able to work at this particular time um here in florida it's been raining almost every day and then we be dealing with you know close to 100 degree weather at times and being stuck outside um with no vehicle no shade or anything for 12 hours that's definitely not going to work um so in the meantime Obviously, I wasn't expecting that call from the client, but when we got the client, when we got the call, I was like, okay, we have to do what we have to do. Um, I immediately reached out to the officer and um, the officer understand, um, obviously, you know, um, and it was a good run because the officer been there for a good month and a half, two months, you know, and then this happened. So, um, you know, we had to do what we had to do. So with that being said, guys, uh, when things like that happen, that's unexpected, and then my hands is already tied, guys. You guys know I work seven days a week. I'm working, you know, about 100 hours a week, you know, and my hands is tied. I can't take on any more shifts myself. You know, I'm only one person. I'm only human, just like the rest of you guys, you know. So when you end up in a situation like that, now you need the people around you to step up. Now you need your officers uh, to step up to the plate, you know, and, you know, help. You know, until I can get some more guys in here, you know, um, that's what you expect. Them. And one thing I do, guys, when I hire people, I make sure I hire people with open availability. I don't like hiring people that have, um, you know, limitations on the days and hours that they can work. Because when things like this happen, they won't be able to help me because they only can work mornings or they only can work nights or they only can work this time or that time. So I make sure I always hire guys that have open availability. But a lot of times what end up happening is those guys get comfortable on whatever shift that they are on. And then when things happen and you try to get them to compromise and adjust, a lot of times they don't want to. And that's where the topic teamwork come in, guys, because throughout my working career, even when I was working for others, guys, I always was a team player. Always. You know, if the company was in a bind or Whatever the case may be, I was always willing to offer a helping hand, uh, you know, do whatever I need to do to try to help the company if I'm able to do so. But going through this situation and having to have some coverage for some uh, some mornings and different things like that, you know, obviously, as the owner, I began to reach out to some of my officers and, um, you know, because I had to start moving people around, you know, to make things work. You know, you have to do what you have to do as an owner. And during that process, I was like, OK, a few people probably going to have to adjust to some different shifts, some different hours and stuff like that. And in my head, I'm like, I'm hoping that everyone would just bear with me for a week or two, uh, maybe three. 
and uh, until we can get some more people in here, because I already have a few officers pending that may be coming on board, you know. But the thing that bothers me is when people just, um, you know, sometimes people just don't want to um, adjust, you know. And, and another thing is, it's like, OK, you know. It's one thing if you really can't help. That's one thing. If you really can't help, you may have kids, your family and everything. You may have a schedule when you may have to, uh, you know. You have you may have to work certain days, certain times. I understand things like that, guys. Um, but like I said, you know, I hire people with open availability. And when things like this happen, I expect for everyone to step up. You know, obviously, I can't step up any higher. I'm already working every day. You know, um, I'm doing doubles multiple days a week, guys. So I'm, I'm already maxed out, you know. So it kind of is bothersome when you have some people who just uh, don't want to temporarily help you. You know, some people just have every excuse in the book on when they just don't want to help, you know. And it's just like a lot of people don't understand. And I know I'm not the only one who's doing this. A lot of people just don't understand the sacrifice that us owners uh, um, um, that we make. You know, um, I'm not making a lot of money off these contracts and what I'm paying our officers is a sacrifice for me because it can be more money in my pocket for the business, for example. But I'm sacrificing and giving these guys more that I really technically probably can't truly afford, but I'm making it work. You know, I'm making all these sacrifices on my end, trying to keep the company afloat and everything. And I'm thankful for my officers, you know, um, but it's like. When we in a situation like this, I need everyone to come together and let's all work together and let's all make it work, man. Let's all make it work, you know, because you don't want to be in a situation where no one want to step up. No one want to help you. Now you ended up not sending anyone to a job site. Now you end up losing a contract. You know, if you got 10, 15, 20 officers, however many officers you have, you mean to tell me that one or two of them can't step up and help? You know, it's a problem, you know, in that situation, you know, so um, that's what this video is about, guys. It's about teamwork, you know, everyone working together, making it happen. You know, that that also, as you know, me as an owner, that's going to show me who really have my back, you know, who really is a team player, you know, who really is willing to sacrifice and step up when things change, you know, unexpected, you know, and um, it can happen, you know, at any given moment, you know, I can have three call outs in one day, for example, and I may have to have some other people step up, you know, can I make them come in? No, I cannot, you know, and, uh, am I bashing them or anything like that? No, I am not, you know, um, I understand people have a life outside of work and different things of that nature, but man, it, it just, you know, teamwork, man. I just believe that if you have a solid team of officers working with you or whatever business you have, and you got like that tight relationship with them and they, truly are a part of what you're doing and not just there for the money i feel like at least some of them should be willing to help you know step up and help you know but i'm a firm believer as well where there is a will there is a way you know and god always come through you know so um that's what this video is about guys so again as always share with me down below um any times that you own your own company any times that you ended up in a hole or something and guys either didn't step up because they didn't want to step up and help or either they did step up. So let me know. Leave your comments down below. I'm done with this one. As always, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, okay. <laughs> cool.